some kids are always sucking their thumb. Should parents be concerned, when it, especially when it's coming to their dental and their health as well? Sucking your thumb is, is a, a big problem because uh, what happens is your thumb has a certain shape and it, it's quite narrow. And your child, as they grow, the bone is so soft that if you suck your thumb, you can mold oh, for sake. the bone and your palate will be the shape of your thumb. You may notice sometimes kids talk funny afterwards because now they created an open bite where once they clench all the back teeth are touching but your front teeth are not touching. So now there's a, the problem of swallowing, of talking properly, it affects the self-esteem and the thumb sucking because now it, it makes your, your whole face narrow the, the growth has changed and then because your face is not narrow you, you develop breathing problems it's beyond the scope of this interview however it's very important to avoid thumb sucking uh, also for um, the, the water at night the, the, the bottled uh, water so we leaving it there in the crib you mean? yes that's, that's not necessary because um, the youngest age a, a child can start drinking with a cup even if it's a sippy cup, that's better than the the um, uh, and the bottle rubber, itself. The, yeah, the, the rubber nipple. Better for the mouth, you mean? Yes, for the teeth. For the teeth. So if you can wean them off the water bottle as early as possible, do it. And if if they need that bottle, at least put water. Don't don't put milk. Yes. Right. And if you put milk, brush their their teeth right away, and then replace it with water, and they they can go to bed with water, and that's that's fine. Um, but if you can wean them off the bottle um, into drinking with a cup, it helps develop their motor skills and, um, and it, it helps them swallow and it, it helps the speech and uh, it's much healthier. Nice.